things you want to see when you're wading the flats. Snook half eaten by shark. Now we're out here, once again on the flats, chasing snook and reds. Start in the morning with a nice, uh, nice go at the top water. Got to where I wanted to get real early, so I'm here at the perfect light. Once again, got the loco burrito on. And the eternity. Um, not as much action as there was two days ago with the top water. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time. No, no, there's stuff over there getting hit on top water. Yeah, I might give it a bit longer. But we'll see how we go. Oh. Guys, I just caught this snook on top water and just lost all the footage because my action cam is shit. <sighs> Not happy, but hit hard, fought hard. Sorry about that. <laughs> One, two. Oh, yeah. Here's another one. Oh, it's a little bit smaller than the other. We'll get them all these green. Here we go, on the loco. Well, thankfully that didn't stuff up that recording. He's a little bit smaller than the other one. Still good fun. Heaps of fun on that bike. And top water. some curry about him. Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, he's got some going. This one might be actually a bigger fish. He feels heavier. I might have side hooked him. I mean, I'd be pretty cranky too. If... I think I've hooked him funny. Yeah, under the gill. Under the... That's why he's, uh, he's going crazy. Hooked him in a strange place. See? That. Another one. Hey guys. Um, so yeah, today finished the session this morning. Got three snook on top water, which is pretty cool, using the loco perro. Yesterday was... Um, Steph in the last day here and mum and I went fishing. Steph got one snook on the 3-inch Z-Man swimmers and I got the black drum on the cranker crab. So that's kind of my outro bit. It was, this morning was awesome. I got those three fish in t 10 minutes on top water. Missed a couple of others then. Kind of died off completely when the tide stopped running. Um, moved up to another area. Had a couple of schools or something come through. I couldn't work out what they were though. So that, and you know, I had a few of them chase. There were a few hits on top water. I just wasn't sure what they were. Now I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing for you guys. I did a tackle warehouse order before I 
leave um, and a little something something for this weekend. So here's a little bit of a tackle warehouse order. You know, got got some baits that I want to use at home that not many people are using yet. Bit of trial and error, see how they go. I'll be doing vlogs on it, um, keeping everyone updated with the progress, whether I'm catching fish on it or what. So, first things first is buzz baits. Guys at home use buzz baits a heap. These are the two that I really liked while I was here. I've used them. The Accent Jacob Wheeler ones, they work really well on the large mouth here. And I actually got a couple of them, a couple with white, just white skirts, a couple like this, bit of chartreuse in it, which is pretty cool. The next thing are these lure wraps. I got these because when I'm in the gets, um, in my car, kayaks on the roof, normally rig up my rods before I go out, so these will stop hooks hooking into things. Great for when you're walking through the bush as well, just have them around your lure. Lure doesn't get caught on anything, so that's something that I wanted. Ooh, ooh, these are some, uh, some new Z-mans. I saw these at, at iCast. These are the tubes. Some 1 16th ounce wacky rigs. And 1 8th ounce wacky rig weights. Some 16th ounce tungsten drop shot weights. Another packet of tubes. Two packets of Senkos in purple. And the last one was the Z-Man TRD, which was the other lure I showed you, which is just like a Senko, really. Tomorrow, uh, we're heading out to Lake Tarp. Well, hopefully, Dad's actually got the flu at the moment. So, I hope you guys are enjoying all the vlogs so far. I really appreciate everyone who's watched it. Uh, it gives me a bit more confidence to keep doing it, and I really do enjoy doing this stuff. Um, and pretty much just, yeah, if you do, chuck us a like, subscribe to the channel, like, do appreciate it and it helps helps kind of build up the channel a bit more and um, keeps me going. If you haven't so far, just just quickly like Aaron ACM Rods, he's was over here and you'll see that video dropped where he fished Lake Tarpon with me in the next couple of days. Um, he's made all my rods for here and they have been absolutely phenomenal. So if you've got if you want any rods at home, any um, Baker spin, fly rods, anything. He builds them. He's got the, the blanks he has are wicked. He does North Fork bats and he does a whole range of blanks um, to suit everyone's needs. I've got everything down to a really finesse bait caster, like two to six pound bait caster, two to six pound spin, um, up to he does offshore jigging tuna rods, like uh, blue water stuff. So he does everything. Next up is cast emag. Um, now that's one of the things I write for. Last issue was awesome. Next issue I'll be doing a bit of a piece by piece about stuff I learnt here in the States. Um, and also there is going to be a social weekend on for um, kind of a cast weekend up at Lake St. Clair when I'm back home in Australia. Um, so if any of you cast readers are, or anyone really, if you guys live in that area or want to experience a bit of winter bassin um, in the lakes, 27th and 28th I'm pretty sure of August. We're going to be at Lake St. Clair, we're going to set up, there's going to be a heap of us there, it'll be good fun. All you got to do is bring some communal wood for the campfire, your own food, water, there's no electricity up there, oh there's limited electricity up there, no phone service, so we're going to get out of it for a couple of days and just have a blast. I'll be there, Jamie Priest will be there, Benny Coons will be there, and a uh, host of other guys. So, you know, lure, fly, bait, whatever, come fish. We'll tell some yarns around a campfire and have a good time. So, yeah, just <laughs> pretty much that's all I got to say there. Again, thanks for watching. I hope this little spiel at the end hasn't gone for too long. So, yeah, thanks again, guys, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully chasing largemouth bass.